chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714-898-0765 Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show in Little Saigon TV. And our last segment, we're here to summarize all the wonderful programs that's available, but also learn more about the Student Services Center and at the Fountain Valley campus. Now, Dr. Rodriguez, um, what are some of the things that we need to highlight as far as student needs and programs that are available to our community? Well, first, let me start off by reminding the community that there's never the perfect time to start school. So now is the time to go ahead and enroll, coastline.edu, we'll get you enrolled, get you started, whether it's applying for a program to transfer, uh, career certificate in cybersecurity, or adults just coming back to get trained to enter the workforce. We have those options, and at the college, we'll be able to help you. But in our student services center, there are some areas that have some significant focus. One is basic, basic needs. In our student life area, we have a team that is there to help. If a student needs computers, if they need internet, if they need um, books, if they need help with food, if they're in, a, in an emergency. We had a situation recently where it was described the housing that we can provide if someone was leaving an abusive environment, mm. that we can help them get temporary housing so they can get out of that environment and get safe. So we have a department within our student services center that focuses just on that and helping those students with those needs that they have that are so critically important. So Coastline Community College is not just a college to provide higher education, but really to provide basic needs for the students so they can succeed in college. I think that's really important because, you know, so many times that we think that we can only enroll in college when we're here to, ready to get a degree. But what you're saying is that there are different readiness programs that are helping young adults and including um, individuals with disability because I work in the disability space and mm -hmm. many students with disabilities can't do a traditional college track. And I also love the fact that you mentioned that you know you have programs where it goes by the student's pace, whether they're a fast learner or whether they need extended time to let the information marinate and get mm -hmm. a little bit more time to really process information. You have programs that, that truly lets them work at their own pace. So thank you, Dr. Rodriguez, for being such an innovator in technology, distant learning, and as well as access to people of all abilities. So I really thank you for, for, for providing that. Thưa quý vị, hôm nay Dr. Rodriguez muốn nhắc quý vị đó là chừng nào quý vị muốn ghi danh cho Coastline Community College không phải là cho học lớp đại học không, mà cũng có rất cái extended adult programs. Julie cũng cũng nhấn mạnh đó là cũng có rất cái nhiều cái chương trình cho mấy em, cả người lớn mà cả có, có quyết tật cần học um, cái thời gian khác hơn người khác tại cái tại đi theo cái chương trình đi theo học sinh cho nên học sinh học mau không có chú, muốn chú, muốn muốn chung muốn học cái chương trình lâu quá thì học học mau cũng được mà cái học sinh nào còn thêm thời gian để cho hiểu biết cái cái chương trình đó thì cái cũng cũng có lớp đặc biệt cho giúp cho học sinh có quyết tật um, Dr. Rodriguez nói đó là um, community college Coastline Community College một có một cái student life center để cho giúp cho học sinh được có cái foundation để cho học hành. Chị nào em nào có cái khó khăn về tìm nhà, à, tìm computer, có internet, Coastline Community College có một cái student service center sẵn sàng giúp cho à, quý vị. Um, I'm just so excited to learn about this. You know, when I was a student, and because early on my autism impacted me so much more. In high school, I didn't have the social skills. I didn't even know how to ask for help. So mm -hmm. I had to do the community college track. So I went to Pasadena City College. That's where I was able to meet a speech pathologist, and psychologist that, that are my teachers that was so gentle and that allowed me to, to do college on my own terms. And sometimes they provided accommodations that I didn't ask for. And I think there's educators such as yourself and, and you know leaders as yourself that sees that there are the needs for people with different pacing and different lifestyle. Now, Dr. Rodriguez, how do you feel that the Student Life Center has helped um, your students uh, during the pandemic and currently? Well, I think it's done it in two ways. Okay. First, we have all of our employees working side by side in areas where they can collaborate and help students. So if a student is at a distance calling in by phone or email, okay. uh, they can get the help that they need. Secondly, it, it's one stop where you can walk in the front door and we have staff standing there 
at, at counters waiting to help our students. Oh. And our motto is, um, or I shouldn't say our motto, the employees, what they have done is really focused on how can they help this student at that point with anything that they need so they don't have to wander around the campus to be able to get help. A traditional campus usually you might visit three different offices and right. three different buildings. You can go to one location and we will come to them with the different services we need. So that is the main design feature that we have in our brand new building. You know, this one reminds me of kind of what we want to do in our, in our community, in the Asian or Vietnamese community, is that we, we wanted to have a center point, a center point where we can collaborate as community leaders and as resource providers and connectors. So people don't have to go all over the place. And I think yes. I, I love what you're doing. And I'm going to pick your brain later on as like, <laughs> we do our model program. But I really see that you are so inviting. Coastline Community College is reminding our audience and our students of, of Coastline that once they're enrolled in the program, that they have access to all these wonderful programs and all these services and department. Um, I know um, our, our time is, is cutting short, but I yes. don't want to end the program um, with, with the mental health side, but there's so much need now, Dr. Rodriguez, especially during the pandemic, that so many families are oftentimes on survival mode. And yep. sometimes mental health is the last thing they're taking care of. What is Coastline Community College doing to help the students and what does your team look like? Well, I have to say our, the college, our employees, our counselors and our trustees have really focused on how do we provide mental health counseling and that's easy for students to get to. Okay. So we have counselors available during traumatic events. They're available and quickly can help students. We've made it easily available from our website that they can get to it uh, at cosign.edu. They can quickly get to the mental health services that they need. And then lastly, we have many stories where students have talked to an employee and that employee will walk them over to the mental health because they know they're in crisis and yeah. they can help them. So it is a major part of what our team does to help our students. And, and you're right, we could spend a whole session just talking right. about that and bringing our experts in to give you more information. But we're proud to have that. Well, you know, um, my husband works at the DSPS Center at, Co at uh, Orange Coast College, and he was one of those staff that had to walk one of his students. Um, he had a student come up to him and mention that he was suicidal. And my husband didn't want to leave him to, to, to just direct him to go to another building. He took the time to sit with him. He took the time to walk the student. He took the time to sit with the student until he was seen. But for when he came home, he shared with me that there's so many resources at the, at the school where there's you know counseling and support and ongoing services and just a very close, watchful eye on connecting these students with resources. So I just want to thank you and all of your staff at Coastline Community College and the college district for having such a, um, a structure in place for people with mental health needs and mental health services. So thank you again, Dr. Rodriguez. Uh, Julie, muốn nhắc quý vị đó là um, Dr. Rodriguez muốn mời quý vị tới thăm cái, cái, cái um, Student Services Center, tới tham dự cái chương trình đó. Chị nào quý vị có cái khó khăn gì, bất cứ cái khó khăn gì không phải là về học hành, về college enrollment không, mà chị nào mình mình là học sinh của Coastline Community College, mình có khó khăn tìm nhà, tìm có khó khăn về có có chỗ có chỗ ăn uống, về cái gì đó về sức khỏe tâm thần, có rất nhiều chương trình giúp cho quý vị. Chị nào quý vị có thời gian xin tới um, um, Coastline Community College trong thành phố Mountain Valley, cái bằng Student Services Center, uh, Dr. Reed Rodriguez có văn phòng đó có rất nhiều người uh, sẵn sàng giúp cho quý vị. Uh, nếu quý vị muốn uh, hiểu thông tin về Coastline Community College một lần nữa, cái website là www.coastline.edu. Uh, Julie, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV đã luôn luôn ủng hộ kênh chương trình Kiến thức Kỳ Khoa Gia đình và Xã hội. Uh, Julie, chúc cho quý vị rất nhiều sức khỏe và may mắn. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Oh,